Hello and welcome to another episode of Honda Fit Trouble. Today we're going to be replacing master cylinder on this car and even with the fact I flush brake fluid system on this car like three times since I owned this car, since my mother owned this car for like 10 years, it didn't help to save a master cylinder. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, first we're gonna put the car on the rim. I'm probably going to um, uh, lift uh, the rear and just put it on a stance. But before we're gonna get to any work on this car, we need to determine if this is actually your master cylinder that went out on this vehicle. Your master cylinder have also a brake booster. Now, uh, I'm not gonna get into details on that, but just to simply test the brake booster, you just have to press your uh, brake paddle and just keep continue pumping if it became stiff that you know your brake booster is fine now just go ahead and start uh, your uh, vehicle and uh, you have to crank your vehicle to see um, if your paddle will fall in and uh, that determines that your brake booster working just fine Now you can do it again, same thing, it's just gonna drop one or two times and then it'll become stiff and that way you will know that your uh, brake booster is perfectly fine. All right, so this is what happens with this particular uh, vehicle. Every time when you brake, you feel like your brake paddle is just falling. The, the more you brake, the more it's falling, and the more you feel like you need to apply more pressure just to continue to stop. This is not supposed to happen. Also, I noticed when you brake, you have to pump your uh, brake paddle a couple of times and then apply the brake. This is definitely going to help with braking and obviously this is not how it's supposed to work. That basically determines that your muscle cylinder needs to be replaced. Also, don't forget to check your brake pads. Obviously, the less pads you have, the more travel of that brake paddle you're going to have. But it's not gonna happen what's happening right now, where you have to pump more time and you feel like the brake paddle is actually falling the more you press on it. So obviously, thickness, it is important, but in this case, uh, it's not, as long as you have a good brake pad and enough braking material on it, it's not going to do what it do now. So what about air in your system? This is, can happen too. You just have a bubbles in your system and that way you might think this is, could be the problem. Well, the thing is your paddle is not going to be falling on you the more you press on it, if you have a little bit of air um, in your brake system. It's not gonna perform and improve uh, your braking by pumping that pedal that I noticed earlier. So definitely in this thing, it's not a case. Now, what about brake fluid uh, leakage? Uh, you're obviously going to notice the brake fluid residue on your driveway or somewhere else, whatever you park. And, and secondary, over time, that brake fluid will actually uh, leak out and the sensor will tell you in your dashboard that you're running low on brake fluid. And you're obviously going to notice how low your reservoir is going to be. So in this case, it's just master cylinder. There is no other options. So let's go ahead, get this car on ramp and start working on it. So to get to your master cylinder, this is actually not your master cylinder. This is just reservoir, like I mentioned earlier. But actually, master cylinder is all the way over there behind this box, this air box. So we'll have to remove this air box, probably the battery since this is on its way. And we can get to the master cylinder. And uh, your master cylinder is just connected by um, two hoses that goes to this little reservoir. And this is basically how your master cylinder uh, look like. All 
right now your air box um, actually holding by a um, couple of locations so one is right here gonna take this screw there is one screw over there and there is one more screw which is all the way down there just a little bit tiny screw that the clamp that holds um, your box on the rubber garment so that needs to be also take down By the way, you probably notice that the battery setup is slightly different than on your Honda Fit. And this is just because I upgrade this battery to a bigger size. And if you want to see that video, I'm going to post this also in the description. I did it very, very long time ago because the batteries that the, this vehicle is equipped with are very, very small. So let's go and remove the battery and pull all this out. Now here we go, this is your master cylinder, as is, you see everything looks just about the same that I just show you on the replacement one, these little hoses going to your reservoir. So let's just go ahead and pull all that out. Um, you have um, the hose right here and there's one right there. I think so this is for your rear brake, this is for your front. Uh, if it's other way around, it does, really doesn't matter. But the whole brake master cylinder is actually look, uh, holding by these two screws. One is over there and one is over there. It's actually nuts, little nuts. We're gonna take them off and the whole thing comes out and then we can get access to these hoses and remove them as well. Before you go any further, uh, brake fluid is uh, very bad uh, if it goes on any uh, parts, you probably know that. So don't forget to put like a paper towel or something just to catch, to catch that uh, brake fluid in case it'll start uh, dripping. The more paper uh, will not going to hurt. And by the way, I'm going to be using 12 millimeter wrench to remove these uh, two hoses. Two little nuts that hold in the master cylinder right down there. Uh, it's actually a 12 a millimeter, not 10. So let's go and take this off and then the whole thing, it just come out. Uh, don't be worried just to slightly bend your brake uh, hoses here and there, uh, just to get them out of the way. Uh, you're not going to break them, just don't overdo it, um, obviously, uh, because you don't want to put too much stress on them. also going to have a washer with a nut so make sure don't lose that and put this back when you're installing your new master cylinder this is very hard area to reach and don't forget about that washer I'm just gonna use my magnet to get that little washer out Right, 
so now we need to uh, transfer master cylinder reservoir to our new master uh, cylinder so we can go ahead and just drain this master cylinder and get all that fluid out of there make sure you recycle that don't just drain it somewhere near your house because this stuff is really not that good for environment now just take these little hoses out of here we're gonna transfer all that to um, our new master cylinder. Alright, this is, was really hard to separate. I did it uh, off the camera. Just pulled that thing out. And now we can install this right back on new cylinder. But I highly recommend you just to clean this whole thing all the way around. You can obviously use some brake part cleaner and wash all the old brake fluid from it. Clean all the residue that located right here on the bottom. Very important. And make sure all this brake fluid will dry really, really good before we fill up with a new brake fluid. So now uh, you actually need to bleed your uh, master uh, cylinder. You can bleed it on your vehicle. You actually don't have uh, to uh, do it on the bench, but it's just much easier for me to do this since I have all set up. Uh, we're gonna bleed this master cylinder and for this you need actually a kit. You can pick up a kit at your local auto parts store. You can order it online. It comes with this little type of fittings. You just have to find the proper one that actually going to fit. And, um, um, and just uh, put the hoses right here on them and put them in a reservoir uh, right here. So it's just gonna circulate the brake fluid every time we uh, pump right here. Super easy to do this. You can find a, a lot of videos out there how to do this. But I'm gonna be actually upgrading my uh, fluid to DOT4. The vehicle actually currently equipped with the DOT3 and it's been DOT3 since um, I had a car but it's also specified for uh, .4 it will work with .4 so since i'm doing all this i'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it to .4 it will not hurt at all so let's go ahead and put these things on and fill up the reservoir all the way to the top and start bleeding um, your master cylinder by the way we're just going to remove this gasket right here so it's not going to be on our way Now just uh, grab a, a punch or whatever you have and start to just pressing um, this master cylinder. By the way, uh, it's actually not that hard. I can actually use uh, my finger to do it slowly and slowly, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a tool. You wanna, you wanna make sure you wanna press all the way to the end. Just slowly and slowly. I already did my setup over here. I felt like uh, the hoses was way too long. I was trying to save hoses, but I guess just make sure the hoses are shorter because uh, you want to make sure when 
the air comes but there is no air that come back to your master cylinder so it's just keep going and circulate circulate and you don't see no air in the hoses so just uh, shorten your hoses Right now you can see that there is no more air goes every time when you press there is no air that circulate on the hoses anymore every time you press so now your brake master cylinder is bleed and you can take all this to the car and install it all right ready to install your master cylinder just make sure you clean this area right there where your master cylinder sits and uh, there is actually that gasket that got stuck in there. So make sure you take care of it and remove that because doubling that gasket is not good at all. All right, I remove hoses and just put little covers um, that goes on the valves of a brake caliper that just I could find that, you know, temporarily close. Uh, so it will um, actually stop leaking. Actually, don't leak that bad, but you just still want to do this. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to install the master cylinder, just the same way how we remove that. And we'll quickly disconnect these little adapters and connect our hoses right on it. Super, super simple. Once again, make sure you don't forget this uh, gasket right here that we removed previously. Right, and now master cylinder installed looking nice and pretty uh, we just need to install the box install the battery and put everything back together and if you spill any brake fluid I recommend you to just clean it right now with the brake fluid or anything that can um, dissolve brake fluid just so you won't leave any residual brake fluid by the way don't miss out on cleaning your throttle body this is a great opportunity and as you see mine look actually pretty good but this is just a great time where you can look at it inspect it and clean it if it's needed
Now I lift vehicle just so I can uh, do bleeding procedure and I need actually two people for that so I'm not going to be covering it in this video. You can find a lot of videos out there how to bleed your system. You basically have to uh, bleed all the way from uh, the, the farthest hose first and just keep going all the way around and you need two people for that obviously. I'm just going to be doing uh, old school bleeding with two people where one press brake paddle and hold and another which is going to be me uh, laying on the ground on the ground and bleeding uh, each caliper guys after you uh, completed brake master cylinder replacement and bleeding i highly recommend you to test out your abs system just do a really heavy brake and it actually works really great the abs works just fine everything working every time i press the brake paddle um, it holds and do not sink in so guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching